Yo, what is good? Well, I had a um, Peach Boy Riverside. Very, very curious show. We have the backstory of how the Traveler has met our main character. And strangely enough, they both have this peach uh, emblem about them. So it does beg the question of... <clears throat> Was this girl, who's the princess, actually born by, you know, her father and whoever the mother is? We don't see a mother anywhere to be seen or found. So that gives you more information of what could be going on in that situation. If she was like a peasant and he didn't want anybody to know about her type of deal. Or if she was just somebody who didn't make it out of pregnancy. There is still a lot to question about the mother of not only our main girl, but also the main boy. So that's already an interesting starting point of getting all this information that we get and how things kind of set up and why our main character is traveling. But like always, once you get answers, there's more questions. And those more questions come down to the point of, why is it that this old, like, how is it that this boy has wiped out a whole country of these monsters and there's someone who's literally running away? <laughs> like, he's running and still trying to do what it is he's supposed to do. And he clearly lost a horn, I'm guessing, from the slaughter of the country. That's the only way he was capable of maybe making it out. So I am so... Like, I'm more curious to see how he slaughtered the whole entire country <laughs> than the backstory we just got. That's how crazy the show is kind of going. Um, they continuously are telling us things have happened instead of actually just showcasing it. And this was one of those instances where they actually showcase it. But it took a whole entire episode just for them to give us the explainer of how our girl got from point A to point B in episode one. So, it was kind of a miss in that regard. I feel like they could have explained even further about the country that was wiped out. Did the our character sustain any damage? You know, did he use attacks that he didn't even showcase here? Like, what the heck did he do? Um, but yeah, overall, Peach Boy has been decent, I guess. I'm already hearing a lot of, like, dislikes just because of how much different stuff could have been left out or... That there's stuff that just hasn't been explained that should have been explained. Just really random stuff. I'm not trying to pay too much attention to it because it might get spoiled, <clears throat> unfortunately. But me just watching it as an anime viewer, it's not bad at all. I'd definitely give it a 7 to 6 right now. Uh, just because they're already doing backstory for a full episode. That's not a good sign. Uh, my opinion from just shows I've seen already, so we'll see how this plays out, and if it continues to get, you know, bad rep from people, we definitely won't be seeing a second season of this. Um, the show, a basketball show I like called, like, No Sora, was doing great, in my opinion, and a lot of people were saying good things about it, but because the manga artist didn't like it, he could easily say no I don't want another season done by this studio or done in general. And I feel like the audience also have that power to do that, to continuously beat down on every episode to hate and do this different stuff. We'll make it so a studio or the author might not want any more of their story told. So think about that. Have an awesome one. I hope this show gets as good as people were hoping it to be. If it can't get that good, I that sucks, but hopefully... It can at least stay decent through and through. So, that being said, take care and peace.